Hello and welcome back and welcome if you're new here. My name is Crystal. Today we're going to go ahead and start out in the kitchen, get a lot of organizing and dishes all done. We're going to go ahead and load the dishwasher. We did finally get a brand new one. So this is my first time loading it. So it does take me a couple minutes to figure out how to organize this one. And then we'll get those dishes started and move on to the next thing. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can come back and watch my brand new videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it gave you the cleaning motivation. Today's video should be extremely motivational, so hang out with me and get some cleaning done. I do post videos weekly, so make sure to stick around and check them out. Moving on to day two, I'm going to share a recipe with you guys. This is called Sausage and Cabbage Alfredo. It was my first time making it and it was absolutely delicious. All you do is cut up some cabbage and put a block of cream cheese cut up into pieces on top after the cabbage is all cut up and put in the crock pot. You put one cup of half and half, and then you can use whatever seasonings you prefer. I did forget to put the seasonings in there initially in this video, but a couple minutes later I went back and put the seasonings in. I used a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic salt, and then a little bit of cayenne pepper. You don't have to put a lot, you can put whatever seasonings you prefer. It tasted absolutely delicious once it cooks for about three hours on high. You just go ahead and add in your cooked sausage. We did not use ground sausage, we just used a regular sausage, cut it up into pieces, tossed it in there, and then we let it cook for one more hour and went ahead and ate it. It turned out really good. Y'all should try it out. I just wanna make you mine. Mine, my mind. Mine. My my mind. I just wanna make you mine. first bag of trash out in total i took out about five bags of trash from this kitchen um, but this is just one i think i videoed about two bags of trash but in total we ended up taking out five bags so that was really nice to organize the kitchen and get all this trash out only one only one only one only one 
here i am cleaning out the refrigerator as you can tell it is a hot mess we're gonna go ahead and get that all organized throw out some old food and stuff that we've had sitting in there for a little while went ahead and went grocery shopping this day so i'm gonna go ahead and organize everything get it all back in decent looking shape and then we are moving on to organizing some cabinets This is the second bag of trash I'm taking out from everything that came out of the refrigerator and some other things around the house. So I'm glad to be getting all of this out of here. organize this cabinet we normally just take dishes out of the dishwasher shove them up underneath this cabinet but i got tired of not being able to find anything so i went ahead and organized this it's not perfect by all means but it looks a lot more functional and it works for us so that's all that matters <laughs> This is our pantry and I'm going to go ahead and organize that as well. There's a lot of boxes in here that are empty I discovered and some expired stuff that I needed to go ahead and throw out. Went ahead and organized the appliances and made turn my spices um, and, or moved my spices back into this cabinet as well. Organized those so that way I can find our spices a little bit easier. They were in the cabinet to my left here but it got 
there were so many spices that we couldn't find which one we needed anymore so i am just moved them back over to this cabinet they've been in this cabinet in the past but it looks much better and i can actually find everything again and see exactly what we have the kitchen is all nice and clean it looks so much better it was quite a mess for a while there i also organized underneath the sink off camera but went ahead and showed it to you guys anyways now we're going to move into the spare bedroom this one's also a very big mess i washed that comforter there on top of the bed just never put it back on and then i'm going to wash all of those blankets get everything back in order there's still some christmas stuff that i needed to put away and organize so let's get started
of cleaning my last day of cleaning for this week and i'm gonna go ahead and start the morning with coffee i don't know about anybody else but i can't function without coffee so let's go ahead and get some nice coffee going and get the cleaning going for the day i've been losing sleep what to do could somebody come and take me away i've been in the tea Without you And I got it in my head night and day But we are one step closer We're all in this together but you're First thing I wanted to get done on this day is mop these floors They are gross So I went ahead and started with the dining room Moved into the kitchen real quick off camera And then moved into the living room I also had plans to move the couch and get everything underneath it. You'll see why here in just a moment.
let the floors dry, I went ahead and cleaned the cat scratcher. My allergies have been insane and I couldn't figure out why. Well, by looking at this cat scratcher, I discovered why real quick. I have not cleaned this thing in a couple of weeks. It was caked in cat hair, so I went ahead and gave that a nice vacuum. Got it all nice and tidy again real quick and then I moved into the living room and started with the couch to get all that mess cleaned up. And this thing is making me soft Getting into my damn heart It feels like I am losing my grip Going crazy Cause this doesn't make any sense You're broken down all my defenses No way back to the old me When I'm stuck here on planet X I'll become the person I've hated Wonder what will happen next Yeah, I don't know So here's why we're cleaning up underneath the couch today. Beyond it being just a good time for it to be cleaned, my dog actually got a hold of one of my gnomes that had rocks inside of it and it went all over the living room. So there was a ton of rocks underneath the couch that needed cleaned up. I could see them every time I walked into the living room up underneath the couch. So I went ahead and started with vacuuming up all of the rocks, all of the fluff underneath the couch, gave it a nice mop, and it looked much better. This was much overdue anyways. I have not cleaned under the couch since October, so it was just a good time to get all of it done. It was time for a nice deep clean.
Now this is a very nasty water dump, so y'all are welcome for that. But that's it for today's video. Here is everything nice and clean in the living room. Please like, subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video. Until next time!